It seems like Disney will never, ever learn. Just five months after getting destroyed back in September when they posted the first ever trailer for the Little Mermaid race-swapped live-action movie. Of course, a lot of people were upset about the clear identity politics at play from Disney, which they've been open and honest about. And of course, some people are just tired of these Disney live-action remakes of these animated movies that people love, yet somehow they continue to bastardize them with these terrible live-action versions. And some people just thought it looked straight up terrible and they prefer the original 1989 version. Well, once again, after embarrassing themselves five months ago, so bad that it got 3.4 million dislikes compared to just over a million likes, and they were forced to turn off comments. That's how bad it was. Disney was so embarrassed, they turned it into a kid's video and turned off comments after the fact because they couldn't handle the criticism. Well, here we are. Just five months later, and just less than a week removed from them posting yet another trailer that got ratioed to hell, and they've done the same exact thing. They have silenced fans, comments turned off. They don't want your criticism. They don't want your feedback. They will not let you comment on this video. And all this is despite just a day ago, it being perfectly acceptable to comment on it. I made a video, again, I put this video out yesterday at some point, and it was showing all the different comments that were in there, people trolling them. They deleted a bunch of the English ones that were trolling them and bashing it, but there were still some uh, some uh, some Spanish ones, I think, were still in there. You can go check out my video from a day or two ago to check that out. All of a sudden, after people started going hard, after people started pointing that out, mysteriously, somehow... They turn off the comments. This is truly pathetic. Uh, When you're at the point, when you're putting out a product and you make it available for everybody to comment on, people give their feedback. People tell you they don't like this. They don't want this. It's not like it was just a whole bunch of racist comments. No, it was troll comments. It was like, I love the part where Ariel tells Neo, you're the one and fucking jumps off a helicopter. Like that's the kind of stuff we're talking about here. I love the part where Ariel tells Simba Akuna Matata. That's the kind of trolling that was going on in the comments that was too embarrassing for Disney to handle. This is going to be garbage. Of course, you have people bashing it for how it looks. Like, look at this screenshot right now. This is an actual screenshot from a trailer they put out. It was only a 30-second trailer. It's not like they showed a lot. They barely showed anything new. And one of the new things they showed... Looks like absolute garbage. That's why people, in large part, are roasting it. Something out of SpongeBob. The Little Mermaid trailer draws heavy criticism from fans. And uh, you can see this looks like something out of SpongeBob. I'm sorry. That was probably one of the shots they're really proud of. And it's getting roasted. This looks so soulless. Where's the color? Why does it look like a Marvel movie from the mid-2010s? Got to be the most desaturated shit I've seen in a long time. Avatar obliterates the VFX of this remake. Genuine question, what's the benefit of it being live action? The benefit of it being live action is that they can take ideas they've already done and put them out there. And Because when they initially started doing this, they were just getting a billion dollars. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, all that stuff. That's about to change. Uh, we saw with the Pinocchio movie, that got hammered, that got slammed. We're about to see The Little Mermaid undergo the same exact thing. This is going to be a disaster for Disney. James Cameron, look at those underwater scenes. Pathetic. Yeah, over and over again. After seeing Avatar, this doesn't look good. I wish it wasn't so dark, had a more colorful palette like the original. Well, if you want to make these comments, you're going to have to stick to social media because Disney cannot handle it. They can't handle you commenting on YouTube. Uh, If you're just going to do this, if you're going to bitch out, if you're going to pussy out like this, you should have had the forethought to do it ahead of time. It would have been less embarrassing for you if you just preemptively didn't allow comments. We've seen that for a couple other trailers that Disney's released recently where they knew there'd be a lot of backlash. Well, considering five months ago, you were embarrassed into turning it off. You'd think that you'd be prepared for what happened this time, but no, you weren't. Another massive ratio for the Little Mermaid trailer. And once again, they're forced to turn off comments because they're just that big of pussies. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.